Have you ever wondered how Google, one of the biggest tech giant, manages its code base with Monorepo? Imagine a single huge repository not just containing millions but billions of would be line of code. With over 2 billion line of codes, Google does not scatter its code base into separate repos. Instead, they pack everything into one massive repository. It represents 86 terabytes of storage, 40,000 commits per day by more than 10,000 engineers. Mind blowing, right? Now you must be thinking why. Why Google store billions of lines of code into single repository? Hey, coding enthusiastic, Rajiv Bera here, and today I'm going to talk about Monorepo. In this video, I'm going to share what is Monorepo, its benefits, and why does Google use it, and more. But first, what is Monorepo? If you are in web development, chances are you have already encountered these scenarios where you manage multiple repos for different parts of a huge application. Imagine this, you have got a web application. It has a huge front end and a huge back end. And in this case, common sense would tell you to use two separate repos, one for front end and one for back end. Right? Well, enter the world of Monorepo. Instead of scattering the code in two different repos, you pack them into one repo. But here is an important thing. Each component will live in its own directory within the mega repo. Think of it like one big toolbox with clearly marked sections. Instead of juggling different boxes, you have just got one with everything inside. That is the simplicity of Monorepo. Alright, now its benefits. Monorepo has many benefits and these benefits will change the way you look at Monorepo. Unified versioning. Each project in the Monorepo is on the same version, ensuring that changes are consistent across all projects. Core reuse. Common utility or components can be easily shared and reused. It simply boosts efficiency and consistency. Simplified dependency management. With all projects sharing the same dependency, Managing and updating them is straightforward. Effortless refactoring. Changes affecting multiple projects are simple to execute. And finally, single source of truth. One repository means reduce confusion and a guaranteed single source of truth. And now the important question. Why does Google use it? This empty ID research article. It's about why Google stores billions of lines of code in a single repository. And I found an interesting Google's monolithic repository provides a common source of truth for tens of thousands of developers around the world. But hold on for a second. With great power comes great responsibility. And in this case, it's size. When your monorepo starts to grow, things can get a bit tricky. Imagine this. Your once lightning fast computer now feels like it's moving at a snail's pace. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be this way. With the right tools in your toolkit, managing a massive monorepo can actually be a breeze. Just like any big project, you can keep things running smoothly and efficiently with the right strategy and a bit of know-how. Here are the popular tools of managing monorepos. Bazel, a fast and reliable build tool originally designed by Google. Lerna, tool optimized for managing JavaScript projects with multiple packages. Next, it's a set of extensive developer tools for configuring and managing repos. Next can be used with various technologies including, but not limited to JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Angular, Node.js, and more. Yarn Workspaces Yarn Workspace is a feature in Yarn, a JavaScript package manager that facilitates the management of multiple packages with a single parent directory. Rush A scalable build orchestrator for monorepos, developed by Microsoft. After all, it's not about how big your repo is, but how smart you work with it. And here are the three best practices to work with monorepos. But before that, let me ask. Did you found this video helpful? Then please subscribe. Additionally, by joining our community at acompiler.co, you will receive exclusive tips that I shared only with my subscribers. It's free. And here are the three best practices for monorepos. Automate everything. From testing to building, let automation handle the work. Isolate build. Ensure changes in one part does not trigger build in other parts. And finally, maintain a clean history. Encourage meaningful commits and scratch them for clarity. This is a misconception about monolithic. Monorepos are not monolithic. A monolithic is a single tiered application combining the user interface, business logic, and data access code. Essentially, monolithic is an application design. And technically, you must adjust the entire application to update a small part. On the other hand, a monorepo is just a way to store multiple projects in one place. Just because projects are in monorepo does not mean they are released at the same time. Big companies like Google use monorepos but release different projects separately. In short, monorepos offers a flexible way to manage and release projects. Now, what is polyrepo? 
and how it's different from monorepo. A monorepo or multi-repo is a system where code for many projects is stored in separate repositories. For more details, check out the video about monorepo. Link in the description. And thanks for watching.